Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'll be seeing how much I saved in February and the new debt totals. Um, and I will empty the purse from week three of February. Okay, so I'm going to start with that. There's not a, a lot left. Let's get the page so we can write it down. I hope you are all well. Um, this video is slightly late. They make me a bit nervous. <laughs> I'm not sure why the, this particular style of video makes me nervous, but um, I think it's all the adding up and because I know I'll waffle on for ages. Okay, so in change, there's not a lot. There's nothing left in groceries. There's £5 left in household. So I'm going to write this down as I do it because then I don't just make it up as I go along. Um, spent £5 from household, so there's £5 left. There's nothing in cats because the cats had nothing um, to start with spending there's five pounds take that out so that means that ten pound was spent and groceries there was nothing left so i'm just going to put i spent the whole lot even though there is some change um left Okay, and petrol, I actually spent £20 and 11 pence. Um, you know, when you, you just start filling up and then you start staring into space and then you forget what you're doing and I'm only putting 20 quid in. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so that's done. That was easy enough. I do have a bit of housekeeping to uh, deal with, but let's just sort this change out first. So postcode challenge, thank you very much for everybody who left me um, their postcodes. I've got seven this week, so that's fantastic. So those under week seven there are the ones that have gone on and they are the ones in orange. So thank you very much for those. I do appreciate it. It's looking a lot brighter now is the map. If you can see a space and you haven't given me your postcode already, if you could please leave in the comments the first two digits of your postcode. That will be great. Thank you very much. So I will put seven pounds in. Do we have seven? Yeah, we do. Uh, into the postcode challenge envelope. That'll be this big heavy one here. Um, I will count it up and as I do it, I'm going to write the amount. Let's just move that loose change there. Okay, so we've got 5, 10, 20, 30, 4, 5. What did I say? 35, 35, 40, 45 pounds in there now. So that is lovely. 45. Uh, let's write it on here, 45 postcode, 45. I have already started filling this in because where there was no changes at all, I thought oh, I'll just do it and then I don't have to put you through sort of finding the binder, looking through the envelope to put the same amount as there was last month. So the ones that are blank are the ones that have changed. Not by much with the sinking funds, that's for sure. But I suppose once the debt is paid off, that's when... It'll be full steam ahead um, for the sinking funds. So there's 84 pence there, which we will put in here. 84 pence. Let's mark that off. 84. Mm -mm -mm. 84. There we go. So that's perfect. That's by All Souls on Etsy. I always forget to mention where that's from. So that is done with. Um, part of the housekeeping was people wanted to know how old this was. Well, they, they said it was probably very old. And so I looked and it actually is best before June 2018. So not that old, actually. I've got older things <laughs> than that. But yeah, it's only a couple of years. So best before June 2018. These are little things that I always feel like I need to mention, but always forget. Talking of which, biscuits. 
these biscuits yes i know it's a budgeting channel but i mentioned a few videos ago that i got a voucher for some biscuits that were 10 pound so it was worth getting them just to see what biscuits they are for 10 pounds anyway i didn't end up going but my son picked um these up because you want to get i think a month or 28 days from the date that they send you the voucher so these are the 10 second dunkin biscuit selection box i've not tried them yet but I did say I would show you them once we got them. Um, to be honest, once they dip, they look a bit like cake to me. So, baked pecan, dark chocolate and sour cherry, orange pistachio and cardamom, cinnamon, almond and cocoa, and chocolate. Yeah, I'll keep you updated on those. Because <laughs> I know that you won't be able to sleep at night till I have done. Right, so there's a fiver left here. Um, what shall I do with it? What shall I do with it? Do you know what? I'm going to put it back in my purse. And it's not going to be added anywhere, is it? But I do have a miscellaneous envelope here. Now, I used to make my kids, when they went to school, have a fiver in the pocket or in the, you know, hidden somewhere on them for emergencies. I think with inflation, it's probably a tenner at least these days. But fiver in miscellaneous, just in case, because you never know. Yeah. Plus, it means I don't have to sort it out right now. There we go. Um, I'll be restuffing in the next video because I've been paid, so it'll be the monthly um, stuffing, as it were. Just before I um, carry on with this, Happy Meal, I forgot in my last video. Um, I do apologise for that. So, I have a few things to show you. What I forgot to show you in the last one was Studio Budget Co. So, Colour the Alphabet. That came with the lovely little dice which I haven't got a coloured dice like that yet, but I have now. Um, so, yeah, we'll give that a go. I did want the envelope as well and the dash, but um, they didn't. she didn't have that in stock, so I just got that one. A lovely um, sloth and, and snail and tortoises, I suppose, turtles. Um, freebie, look at that. Saves 30, did it save 30 or 60? Not got my glasses on 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Saves 30. How cute. So I laminated it because it was very cute. And this, hugs and kisses. It's like a... Um, I'm doing that with my thumb. This is what you do, Michelle, from Yorkshire Budgets. I think you balance it and then you flick it because I were laughing at you chucking it the other day, the coin. Bless you. She just goes <laughs> and wangs it and catches it, you know, flipping a coin. Anyway. So I presume I will do uh, five and ten. So the little uh, coin thing here. Oh, it's tiny. Look at that. Shall I flick it? Woo! Yeah. So we will do that at some point. So they were Studio Budget Co. I do have a lot of her stuff, actually. And she's a nice lady. So that's that. Now then, freebies. Oh, there is some more Happy Meal. I'll show you that in a minute. Freebies. Um, the, I'll start with this one. This is um, the big budgeting meetup. There's um, a lot of budgeting people meeting up, doing stalls and things like that. At an event, I think it's in June. Um, and I do believe it's in Manchester. But if you're interested, go onto Instagram. Type in the big budgeting meetup and you can find out all about it. Now, this um, tracker was given out for free. Um, to save for the tickets or for any spending money if you do decide to go. So that's that one. And then these from um, Yorkshire Budget. These were all free. She's put these all free on her videos. Not that one. Um, yeah, so if you go check it out, that's Yorkshire Budget. It's on YouTube. Um, and she has these linked for free that she's created. Um I wanted to buy her a coffee, but she doesn't have a coffee page. So look at these, I've laminated them. How lovely. Oh, that's the front. Yeah, I really like that design. And I'm really grateful for that, Michelle. So thank you very much. I do have a seasonal one that I put in Easter. Now then, which binder is it this one? Yes, it is. So I just was going to use this here for Easter. But it's a bit of a waste because Easter's coming up really quickly. I've got nothing saved and this can be for the whole of spring, you see. 
so I would have had to get to Easter, wipe it clean and start again. So that saved me having to do that. And how cute with the little, little bunny and eggs in the background. I think that's lovely. I won't put that back in right now. Um, the cushion. I wanted one for a buffer. And again, that's the front and that's what you can mark off. I've laminated them. I think they've come up absolutely brilliant. Really appreciate that as well. And this, when I saw this on Michelle's channel herself, I laughed because uh, I was saying to her, it's like when I drive, it's a bit like Wacky Races out there. So, um, yeah, Wacky Races. Dick Dastardly and Muttley. <laughs> Can't do the Muttley, but yeah. £5 and that's towards debt. I think that, what's that, twenty five fifty. So really, really chuffed with those. And then um, I think it's Budget with Jess R on Instagram. She might even have a YouTube channel as well. And I know she's got an Etsy shop. Um, she suggested that some of the shops released um, like a tracker for their shop on Etsy, but for free to help you save up if you wanted something from their shop. So straight away, I downloaded and printed this off. This is uh, Scottish Highlander on a budget. Look at the cows with the blooming trolleys. How cute is that? Hope you can see it. Yeah, so that's amazing. Um, and I've got that purposely to save up for a planner for, for next year. You know, I use um, Scottish Highlander on a budget's planner uh, for this year. So I think I'll probably do the same for next year. So that's that. And then since last video, I've got these as well. This is Queen Bee Mix. And this is to track my deck totals. Um, so that's a beautiful freebie there. All you need is coffee. How did she know? How did she know? Because I am a coffee drinker. Love it. And that is beautiful. Ignore the beacon in the background. That's the deck tracker, the balloons. I think I've got a thing with balloons. Because my pound challenges is balloons. Um, and I think there's 70 balloons, so you basically get your deck total, divide it by 70 and each balloon can then be that amount. So I will fill that in. And then this is another freebie, 20p coin challenge. Uh, that saves £20. So thank you very much for those. Queen Bean Mix on Etsy. And then these were off Budget with Charm. Um, I hope you feel better soon. Because she's not very well at the moment. So... Yeah, budget with Sean. These are to write the totals in. So I got one of each colour. Um, and I thought that the pink one can be for debt. And then I can just put January what the debt total is, February. It's just quicker than me flicking through the books. And what I save January, February, March. Not what I save each month, but the total of my savings going forward. So that is those. And then on the thank you, there's a little freebie. Colour in the paw and save 60. So that's great as well. Really pleased with that. And I think that that is all the housekeeping I have for you. Let me just check my list because I write lists and then I forget to look at them. Um, no, there's one more thing. Right, this. I don't know if any of you saw my Instagram post. Do you remember me saying that I would give you the real total of what I should have saved? I saved £55.50 in the eight weeks. Uh, this is Budget with Ira, by the way. What I should have saved had I not cheated and moved decimal points around was £875.50, approximately. Hence why I cheated. But yeah, I said I'd let you know, so there it is. Okay. <sighs> and breathe. Let's get on with this. Okay, I hope you can see this okay. Car wash still has £6 in it. Health still has £10 in it. Kitten still has £10 in it. Iris 1K binder still has £20 in it. The postcode challenge we've just wrote in and counted, that's got £45 in it. The pound challenge has £30 in it. I wasn't going to put us all through either counting balloons or taking all the pounds out to count them. Um, so that's that. The previous total of the binders collectively was £328 in January. Now, I don't think it'll have gone up much because allotment's gone down. Um, what else has gone down? No, maybe nothing else has gone down. However, there is absolutely zero petrol rollover. We all know what happened there. 
Um, yeah. Okay, so allotment. Let's. <laughs> got to try and find it now. Let's try the home binder. Mm, this is family, but it's in there. Okay, so there's five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine pounds now in there. I'm surprised that nine pound hasn't been spent already because it's that time of year where money for allotment just flies out. Um, funeral. Okay, I can go away. Mm, let's try this one. Yes, funeral. Funeral has. 10, 15, 20, 25. So we'll write that down. My son's birthday wasn't on here last time. Um, that's in occasions. Oops. that's just got 15 pounds in and that um, digital download was from Scouse Girl on a budget 15 I've also just seen gifts in there so we'll do that now it saves us going back gifts five pounds Iris Christmas I tell you what I do know, I know that, that I've just not putting enough away yet, but I'm starting to panic, but I say this to myself all the time, I don't need to panic because I'm doing challenges and they will be fed into the sinking funds. So there is just now 25 in the Christmas Iris binder from Iris Budgets. Twenty-five. Is that what I just said? Twenty-five. Well on it. Uh, yeah, I have the memory of a gnat. I hope you're all well and I hope you've had a good uh, week last week. As I say, this is a bit late, this video. Um, so I hope you've also had a good weekend. I, can you believe it's nearly March and it's getting lighter, thank goodness. Right, so this is the 35 envelope challenge. We've just got the three. I don't really need to count them like this because I've got the chart there. So, 20, 30, 35. Yeah, because we didn't have this one last uh, month either. 35, let's just double check that on here. 20, 35, yeah. It wasn't rocket science that, was it? <laughs> 35. See, I forgot already. 20, yeah, 2035. Okay, fresh start challenge. We have finished, and that had £55.50. Just move that because it's about to fall off. Planner challenge. Okay, so we've got £50 still waiting to be reallocated. This is Scott Shylander on a budget. Oops. That's just waiting to be counted. This was January's five, yeah, 50. So there is 50 there. And then we've also got five, 10, 15, 20, 30. So that's 80 in total. 80. Hmm. 80 and then I have a year of savings which is all the money in here now that the fresh start has been taken out has got 5, 10 and 20 is 30 30 Two pounds. Not many because they're like hen's teeth. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So that's not gone up by much at all. Fifty peas. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pounds. Right, rock, paper, scissors. Sorry for shaking you. I feel like I've moved all, over a bit. It's because I was leaning that way. Um, right, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. 95 in Rock, Paper, Scissors by Studio Budget Co. 95, 90. Five. And finally, the Neon Challenge, which is Budget with Ira. That has got 5, 10, 15, 20, 31. Wow, I didn't realise there were as much. £31 in there. 31, 31, 31. 31. Okay, so that's... The envelopes added up. Right, calculator. Yes, I threw the other calculator in the bin. Not the rusty musical one. I've kept that for emergencies. But the other one that just were on and off, I just binned it. Oh, a lot of cack, that one. Okay, so let's add this up then. Six plus ten. Bear with. As I said before, I start talking, I'll get distracted. I know these are boring, as I said last time, but I need to do it to keep me motivated to actually see what's going on. Sometimes you can just feel like you, I don't know, I just sometimes feel like, why am I doing it? And then you do things like this and you think, ah, that's why. 31 equals. Okay, so the total apparently is £550.50. Not sure I believe that. Let me go again. Hmm. I should fast forward this, but I don't know how. But I will invest in editing at some point. This is where I'm going to end up with um, three different figures. So I can't show up if I tried. 16, 18. It's draining again, by the way. Um, yeah, same amount. Okay, wow. £550 in these binders. Hmm. I don't know where. Where? Well, I suppose here, but... Wow. Okay, 550 So, at last time we had 320 no, that's not right. That I mean, can't be right. Two, two, look at that. Two, two, two. For all you um, angel number people and spiritual people, two, two, two. I always see two, two, two. You're on clocks and yeah. So does that mean I've saved two hundred and twenty pounds fifty this month? I don't know how. Because I went out and got drunk as well. You see, when I go a bit quiet like this, it's very rare. But it's shocking. It? I know that's not a lot to some people. And to some people, that's loads and loads and loads. And to me, I just can't believe I can actually save anything. I feel like I need to add it up again. I'm not going to put you through that. But what I am going to do is... I've probably added an extra £100 somewhere in the totals. 95, 80, 55. <sighs> Minus 328. 22250. Okay, moving on then. Right, the, the uh, digital leftovers across my accounts um, in the bank. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I do um, a zero-based budget, roughly. Um, so I get paid 
all the direct debits come out um, and anything else that gets comes out of the bank and then I withdraw the money um, and stuff it basically um, yeah so there's never much <laughs> in uh, leftovers so two pounds 97 and that would across my accounts two pounds 97 there was no petrol left over this time to stuff um, the previous digital um, bank leftovers total was £11.82 and the petrol was £22.48. So the petrol is still £22.48. Um, the digital bank rollover is now oops, on £11.82 plus £2.97 14 So the total of um, the rollover and that. These are in Monzo pots, by the way. Plus 22. Four, oh. Go again. 14.79 plus 22.48 equals 30. So it's not gone up much, but it's gone up a couple of quid. Okay, lovely. I'm just going to open this out and deal with the debt then. So just before I deal with the debt, I'm just going to fill this in. So in February, the cash total saved was twenty uh, two 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 fifty, and the digital total for February was two pounds and ninety seven. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. So two, two, two fifty plus two nine seven. No, <laughs> can you imagine if I'd save twenty two thousand? That'd be all right, wouldn't it? I'd be able to afford the um, fresh start budget with Ira then. <laughs> that challenge. It's my door number that got me and my age and my battery life. Right, go again. Two 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 point five plus two point nine seven. Okay, so that's £225.47 in total. So that's saved um, this, yeah, this this month. Well, it's four weeks for me, basically. Uh, 550.50. 550.50. Uh, so that's all together the totals of the savings and the digital total previous oh no it's 37 27 37 27 point five plus three seven point two seven equals five thousand eh? no 550 50 plus 37.27 equals yeah that's right 587.77 i have 587 pounds 77 somewhere saved that's insane absolutely insane right on to uh, more depressing matters debt okay so credit card one um from last month it we ended with 83354 um and we have paid 200 pounds in february and that leaves 63354 now then with this the interest goes on on the 28th and it's before the 28th now so there is no actual interest to go on this this month um th there is sorry but not in time for this video and if i delay this any further i'm going to have to be doing um the same next month and the month after and the month after and before we know it my wage is going to come in the middle of the month and i'm you know it's going to be two weeks till the interest goes on so we're just not going to include it this time 
um, unfortunately. But there you go. So this is the figure at the moment on the statement or on the app, should I say. Um, however, on the 28th, you know, the interest will be added on. Now, last month's interest was only £18.94 only, but, you know. So I could work it out at around 18 quid then. In fact, yeah, I will. So what's 18? This is just guessing. 63354 minus 8. No, it'd be plus. 633.54 plus 18. Yeah, 65154. 65154. That would be 18 quid interest. Okay, so credit card two ha is interest free till November. So we're paying this off, then going to attack that. Um, and so we just pay £10 off that. So that is now 46. No, it's not, it's 45. Sorry for shaking you. Hope you can still see because I'm moving about a lot. Four, five, four, seven, four. And personal, um, £25 and eight. Now, I think this just, because I think there's only one payment left of £12.50 or something like that. Let's see. 37, 57 minus 25 Oh, 08 equals 12.49 so that is about to be gone shortly so the next time we do this there'll be no personal debt whatsoever um yeah okay so the total amount paid 210 yep um, so including the £18 that we're guessing there, 651.54 plus 454.74 plus 1249. Hmm. I'll write it down, but I'm not sure that's right. Let me just see what I did. Sorry about this. Let me just have a peek what I did last time. Ah, uh, so that's what I'd paid in total. That's after interest. Okay, I'm... Um, I've confused myself. Forget the £18. I'm just going to go by the figures that I've got, which are accurate. 3554 uh, five, plus 4554.74 four, plus 1249. So that means that the debt total is now 1177, which, um, yeah, fair enough. I've not paid off as much this time, have I? But I'll be happier when it's under a thousand, because when now that this is like six hundred and something, it doesn't feel that much. But then when you're adding the four hundred on top and the bits, yeah, eleven hundred and seventy-seven plus, I suppose the eighteen, yeah. So one 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 eight seven seven is roughly the new total. Mm. I wanted to do the percentage, but I can't remember how I did it. Well, we'll use this figure that we've got. How much did we actually pay off? 23508. So 23508. No, it's not that figure I need. It's that figure plus the old figure there i'm making a right mess of this i feel like i need to pause you but i can't right three four three point twelve we reduced the debt by in january so 
So I'm going to add 235.08 and I'm then going to minus 18. Okay, so that looks like from the debt total originally, um, £560.20 has been paid off it. Is that about right? 200, 300. Mm. Yeah, that's about right then, isn't it? So if I now divide that by the debt total originally, 97 equals, yeah, times 100. So roughly, um, the percent of debt now paid off is 33.3. Well, it's 0.4. I'll put 0.3. That sounds better. Yeah, so onwards and upwards, I suppose. Um, paid to debt. This month, I paid 23508. And the cash savings this time were... 225... Four, seven. So in the binders then, we've got £550.50 digitally saved for rollovers. There's £37.27 in total. And the amount I've actually paid to debt or saved this month is 235.08 plus 225.47 equals four hundred and sixty pounds fifty five yeah that's where my money's gone this month but at least i know where my money's gone this month so thank you for listening to that ramble um i do appreciate your support i appreciate all your comments as well thank you so much for your um sharing with me what you would do with the household envelope on the last video you know whether you'd split with toiletries or not a lot of you include your gross uh, you, your toiletries and household in with your groceries uh, everybody does different when i tried to keep all the grocery money together and pay for everything out of it i just ended up with hardly any food <laughs> so it works for me to split it but at the moment i think i'm just going to continue as i am with household as it is and then my groceries as they are and then you know save for expensive toiletries for myself perhaps in a separate envelope but i appreciate you sharing with me what you uh, would all do um if you enjoyed this ramble and this video please leave a like and leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you're not already um, and I hope you have a really good week coming up. Um, nearly payday for a lot of you. So, yeah, it's getting lighter. Daffodils are blooming and all that. Um, and my next video, I'll be, um, it's payday, so I'll be stuffing for the month. So hopefully I will see you all soon. Thanks, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye.